Uh, what happens now if I plus? You. <laughs> you have how many counters? <laughs> Reasonable card alert! <laughs> I think it's kind of hilarious that there's also some sirens in the background. Just happened to be there. <laughs> Just because we're playing, of course, the echoing equation today. A new card from Strixhaven. Choose target creature you control. Each other creature you control becomes a copy of it until end of turn. Except those creatures aren't legendary. Hmm, you say, hmm, but what if we couple this with Voriclex? How many loyalty counters will we get then? Will we double 60 times <laughs> on our place? Well, the, the, the answer is that we don't know. Because the, there's a very small box, <laughs> if you can see it, for the loyalty. So it can't even display all the numbers. But we can see a part of the series of the numbers that you get when you have about 60 Voriclexes. And it's a beautiful series of numbers, you're gonna see that in the games. So, how are we gonna get so many Voriclexes? Well, there's two ways. Either we get Skew Swarm down, we get a silly amount of Skew Swarms, and of course the target echoing equation on the Voriclex. Or we play Philath, we have a lot of basic lands, and we target the Boring Clex, and we get a lot of things. And that's that's pretty nice. And doesn't the servers crash with this, you ask? No! I don't know how they fix this, but somehow, with these doubling effects, which used to crash the server every time, doesn't crash the server anymore, and that's just amazing work, Wizards. I'm <laughs> gonna say, <laughs> top priority, working on my performance on my jank decks. Very much appreciating that. Uh, so other than that, we just have, you know, things that usually go into the, these types of decks. We have Cultivate. Lotus Cobra fits very well with Skew Swarm. And then I wanted to try out this Cram Session card. You gain four life and learn. And then we can go in and we can find some uh, cards which create one ones or environmental sciences, which search for a basic land card and gain two life. Which I think is one of the best lessons, to be fair, uh, of the lesson cards. So that is pretty much that. We also have Garruk also, which is also hilarious to get a lot of loyalty counters on. Uh, and we can get infinite turns, yes, but the very most of time because we have so much loyalty. That is the deck, everybody. Jump into the game. I didn't think about it, but kind of by accident, this is also an infinite turn deck. As it just so happens. Okay, you go first. I'm liking that. I'm liking this hand very much, must say. It's kind of a stellar hand. A stellar. Stellar hand. Uh, we go for the forest. Mark 1986. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. That is a, is a good choice. Good choice. I like life game. It's very nice. Very, very nice. Golgari life game. Oh, called Golgari anymore. In Strix 7. They called something else. I don't know why. They couldn't just be called the same. Do not confuse me. I have no idea what they called it. I'm just gonna call them like Slytherin. <laughs> Harry Potter. Whatever they call them, Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> they're not called they're not called Harry Potter the houses. I know. Gryffindor. That's the <laughs> That's the house of Harry Potter, if you didn't know. Uh I'll just put it down, excuse me. Just put it down. Just put it down, I said. And see what happens. If he gets it, that's fine. Not a problem. Long wish. I don't know. I think this was kind of a dingus move. <laughs> just putting this down, to be fair. He probably just played cultivate. And then play the land together with Skew Swarm this turn. That would have been safer. But also, wouldn't have been as cool. Tell me that much. Uh, well, put down you. Like this. I'll go for a little bit green here, I think. Get that little dude. And no attacks the runers. Pretty good blockers here in the one ones, if you want to. I'm liking that. Mark C. We just need the card here. Oh, that's... It's too bad we don't have any search cards. I would love to have a card which could search for the card which uh, makes everything into a certain creature. I'm gonna mutate so I can return a permanent card. And he returns Skull Prophet. Classic choice. I think this is another starting deck. Because I feel like I see the Skull Prophet and the Boneyard Lurker way too often. Way too often. He has Death Touch though. I think it take a little bit less damage in a deck. Oh, well, we actually have life in this deck. We have the cram session. Use for life. So there is that. Uh -huh. So do we play uh, Il Clicksaurus now, or do we play Garuk 
or ah, that I don't think it's gonna. Now nah, we play Plexus, or do we play for love? Do we play for love? Nah, I think we play. Nah, no, we play for love. We play for love because we get a lot of tokens. And that's gonna set up for later, and he probably has a removal spell. I don't know why he wouldn't have killed Skewed Form though, if he had a removal spell. So I'm a little bit confused about that. Must say, still not 100% sure about it. It might also be... I don't know. I don't know. Probably has a mutator as a removal spell. I don't know attack rumors. Maybe this is fan. We don't have many ways of uh, killing things. That's a little bit of a problem. The only interactive card I think we have is the fairy in this deck, so... Show! Not maybe ideal in every circumstance, but... Sometimes. Skull Profeto Nino. Skull Profeto Nino! Profeto Nino! Nino! Profeto Nino! I know I need to go to an Italian... Not disco. What is the term? Rave party. That's the only two... Only two versions I know. Okay. Boneyard Lurker. Coming in hot? No? Hang back, okay. Uh, well... Well, well, well... I think in this case... We fetch a little bit with this. Put some counters on the plants. Then we play the Klexors. And first we attack him. Because hopefully that can eat up some removal spells or something. Uh, yeah, we fetch with this. We have a lot of dudes now. Imagine us getting the card which can copy more and Glex. <laughs> it's gonna be... Ooh, so many counters if that happens. Just think about it. We double the amount of counters like a hundred times. I think the client will crash if we do it. That's the unfortunate part about it. But okay. Uh, we go with you and with you. I think we go with Pilath also. Just pushing in for a little bit of damage. I'm fine with Philath dying. Absolutely fine with it dying. Not a problem, Reno. At all. Okay. Ooh, that guy got big. Okay. Bone your lurker. Ginormous. I hope he doesn't have a fight spell or something. Now we're going for it. Now we're going for a Levorian Klexors. Next turn, we can get off the minus seven here, and then we get to search for any creature. If we don't have anything that's really good to search for, probably another boring clex if he dies or something. Twin blade assassins, okay. Sure. We have the perfect setup now, I feel like, for the co Do we have enough? We need nine <laughs> to play everything. Wow, Skull Prophet? Really? Nah, Mark 1996. Same uh, year as I was born, actually. Ooh. Ooh. Well, we are gonna. <clears throat> now, first, we're gonna do this. First, we're gonna do a lot of skills for us. A lot of. <laughs> then we're gonna get Rook, of course. We're gonna get a little bit of an Emblemino. Emblemo Acid. Okay. And uh, then we're gonna put you down there. Unfortunately, we can't immediately ultimate with this guy. I'm a little Nothing. bit sad about it. Draw this card. Time to improvise. <laughs> okay, we just passed. We just passed. No attacks. <laughs> okay. What am I gonna search for? Uh, we're gonna take that action, yes. Oh, I know. No! No! Because if I search for Philath now, I will crash the server. 100% I will crash the server. I will crash server. I think we just go for loads, Cobra. Weird as that sounds. <laughs> Cause look at how many creatures we have. If we go for... Another Boring Clex or something. Or even another Boring Clex, that would be fine. But if we go for another Philath, we're gonna have... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh well. At uh, the fairy monster time though is looking kind of dangerous, <laughs> but it's it's nothing compared to how dangerous he will look. <laughs> and we play the echoing equation. Oh Mark, just please stay in there. Okay, mill some cards, return the permanent. That's fine. 
That's absolutely fine. <laughs> Mark 986. Oof! Oof! Okay. And we're just gonna... Let's see it. Are we gonna draw on this card? No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Here's what we're gonna do. Echoing Equation. Yes. Okay. Uh, what happens now if I plus? You. <laughs> you have... How many counters? <laughs> okay. It actually didn't crash from that. I'm kind of surprised. Kind of surprised it didn't crash. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe kill them also, but <laughs> but what the hell does it even fit somewhere in a string of numbers? There is a series <laughs> which is three three five five four 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 zero. There's probably more numbers hidden there which we can't see, but that's the loyalty we can see right now. <laughs> oh my god! I don't know if this deck will be that amazing when we get out of gold. <laughs> so we have to be careful, because I think we're almost out of gold. Okay. <laughs> okay. Minus 132. I, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, it's kind of a stinkly dinkers. Dinkly stinkers. I think. Triple mulligan. For being a triple mulligan, I think it's kind of good. We ship two cards, right? I think we ship the Cobra and one Klex. And I think we're fine, probably, right? Maybe? We'll see. Let's see what happens. Maybe I should have shipped the Cobra. Maybe I should have shipped the Cram Session. Probably the Cram Session is the worst there. Oh, and <laughs> three evolving ones. Oh, I think the magic gods or the arena now hates us after <laughs> what we did last game. My Gnurns. <laughs> Three shit hands. And only a volume mod. Okay. That's fine. We can we can make it through this. <laughs> and the opponent with double frost dog. That is gonna be that is gonna be great, I think. That work out amazing. <laughs> okay, pick up an island. Sure. Pick up an island! Pick up an island! He might not have that many good cards, this might be the best things that I have. I mean, this is very good with... Okay, uh... <laughs> We're not looking too good here. We'll say that much. Not looking too good. Uh, he does have green, though, for some reason. Which is kind of amazing. So, what if we play Lotus Snowbrass? Evolving Wilds. Get a green. Fetch with this. We're gonna fetch a blue. Uh, a blue, a blue, a blue. And we fetch... Oh, it doesn't matter which color. Cram session. Gain some life points. I think we just go with environmental science and stuff. Because all we need is some manas at this point. We doesn't have green. <laughs> we can't play the blizzard, bro. Okay. Oh, there we found it. But he's already played the land. Oh, the blizzard, bro. What's happening? Body. Body is not happening next turn also because it's tapped. Frost Augur is so good when you get to do this, okay? Honestly, I'm thinking about trading here. These Frost Augurs are so good. Ah, okay, I don't know. We'll take it. We will take it. Ooh. I mean, we need to cultivate. I mean, we can cultivate and environmental science, actually. So, we do green. Let's see, we have two blue already, right? So blue, uh, we need one red or something. We've done this. One little manas. Doesn't matter what. We've done this. Get one little manas. And environmental sciences. And another green, maybe? We have everything else. Spike space. Boom. Boom. Actually, we're kind of alive. Somehow, some way. Don't know how. <laughs> this deck really needs interactive cards. Like, really, really, really needs interactive cards. 
I think you could probably tune this. That like, could be more, uh, more mm, on point for the higher difficulties here on <laughs> the ladder. But I think it, this deck like, is kind of maximizing hilariousness, though. Narfi Betrayer King, okay. Okay, okay. Well, he does have a way of killing a skewed swarm, but he doesn't have a way of killing two skewed swarms, right? So we play this and fetch. But also play Boring Clex. He can't kill Boring Clex with what he has, but he could have another creature and kill Boring Clex with that. Because. I'm. Th oh, Frack. Should be Boring Clex. He could also be sitting up with a counter, since he's sitting up with three. What could it be? See, if he has a counter, it's. Yeah, and then it's probably best to play this. Get this. Overwin. Skewed Swarm. We could also, actually, if we play the Evolving Wilds here, which we're gonna do anyways, we can actually play the Fairy Master of Time also, from the Lotus Cobra. Kind of. Kind of cool! Okay. And we get a Skewed Swarm copy, and we get a blue. And we fetch with you, and we get double Skewed Swarm. Okay, so we're doing something here. Hopefully it doesn't have a board Wipely Wipers. Then I'm gonna be crying. Crying a lot of tears. Okay, blue. Very Master of Time. He could have a Negate also. Could be what he's hoarding here with his three Manaz. Or he doesn't have it. I'm surprised he's not running over us. He had a really good start, honestly. Then he just fizzled out. I feel like. Can return this from his graveyard. Tapped. Okay, well, that's what he wanted to do. Okay. Time to improvise. Time to improvise. Okay, no attacks. Bar the other snow and zombie creatures get plus one plus one. It's kind of a decent card, honestly. Like if this was a couple of years ago, Narfi would be the shiz. I mean, isn't he still the shiz? He is the shiz, but uh, no, not as good maybe as he could have been. Could he has so much potential. It's surely smack in with everything. With both frost or does he want a car though with a frost order? That is the question. That is the question. Is we could do we sacrifice a lotus car to kill a frost order or kill the Narfi? It's gotta come back, but he has to pay three for it. Hmm. <laughs> oh, okay, nothing. That's weird. <laughs> That's the only option I wasn't expecting there, but okay. Okay, go on this card. Uh, well, Fabled Passage seems better than Forest, so... We'll do that. Uh, okay, so we have this little thing done. That seems kind of nice. Put you down. Fetch a little bit of Swarmies. Swarmy Lormies. <laughs> uh, sure. Get some colors. Fetch with this. Oh, wait. That doesn't matter. If he has a board wipe, he clears everything anyway, so. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Gone so far. Do, do, do. Uh, sure. And uh, let's see here. Draw this card. Gonna get double counters from this. Time to improvise. Ah, okay, that didn't do anything. And I think we just stay. We stay on the blocks. Unfortunately, that spirit of Aldergard is 100% gonna kill my boring legs. With that blizzard roll. So maybe... No, no, he's not gonna kill. Because if he does that, I just face it out with the fairy master of time. And that's just so smirk, but he probably has another blizzard roll. And then he fights North B, but that's not enough. That's not enough power. Maybe. Maybe we just get away with this. It is a possibility. Marcus DC. Jorn. God of Winter. Man, this guy has such a good start. Such a good start. For some reason, he has elected not to play the strongest, in my opinion, the strongest snow cards. I mean, the Frost Dog is one of the strongest, but then there's also that thing which draws even more cards. For five. Should I play that? <laughs> And draw even more cards! 
and would have won. <laughs> Just didn't draw enough cards. That's the reason he didn't win there, everybody. <laughs> or well, we don't know. He might still win, but <laughs> but he should have drawn more cards. One try and say. Okay. Boring Glex. Uh, nah. Nothing. Faces out. A little bit. Okay. And looks at the top card. And just smack in with Narfi. Make me sacrifice a couple of skewed swarms, maybe? Possibility. <laughs> Wait, we do this first, don't we? Yeah, we do this first. No! No, we didn't even see it! Why did you go see there? You didn't even see it, buddy! No! Oh! I think this we keep. I mean, Lotus Cobra. We have the combo, even. Skewed Swarm, Pugilist. I mean, what are the odds of having the combo in hand? It's gotta be low. It's gotta be really low, I think. Are we done share? Are you done share? Okay, Lotus Cobra. Put him down, put it on. And put him in. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't really sound drum roll, but I'll do it anyways. No! A fight spell? Uh, no blocks. Thank it. So, yes! Suicide. <laughs> Suicider! No! Okay, he didn't. He did not. Okay, well. We'll take a blue or something. I found the skewed swarm. And I think since we don't need the manas, we'll wait with that because that's smart. It's a little bit smart, I think. I can believe. And I'm done. And now, if he tries to fight the Scourge Swarm or something, we fetch this. Or we could have fetched, I don't know. Probably didn't matter. Probably didn't matter, but it's okay. Okay, ah, no blocks. Take it. Do we now? Fetch with the Fabled Passage. We get a Manas. No, we fetch during our... Well, it doesn't matter. Now we find a land, it actually does matter, right? So we might turn it. Ooh, we found a land, okay. That's pretty good. So, this gives us one Manas. Which we can do a red, for instance. And then if we fetch, we get one more, and then we can play Philath, and then we get four dudes. Or we can play Boring Clex. Or we can play Boring Clex. Or we can play Boring Clex. But I mean, a Boring Clex on the board is just gonna get fought and die, I think. Probably that's what's gonna happen. Probably. And that's a little bit boring, so. Fetch an island. Uh, sure. Play the Philath. Couple of Dooners, and no Attack Laroonus. We're building a board here. We're building a board. We're setting up for Illiclixors. Whenever he arrives, okay? Four Manas. Now we have a Plains with your... Thought you were... The Greeners! Oh no! Oh no! He's gonna suicide the Yorgo, you know? Oh, he goes in with both. Actually, in this case, I think I block with the insects, right? Looks one insect to kill a flaxen, snaxen, and uh, I think I block with this also. Let's take a little bit less damage. Unless he has a buff speller. Huh? That's, that's pretty good, I feel like. Okay, so let's see. We put down this. Actually, we can get the boring next down. That is le pretty le nice, honestly. So, get you down, smack in, for uh, a lot of damage. He's down to 8, hopefully doesn't have a board wipe. <laughs> what the, no, if anyone has a board wipe! I'm sniffing the board wipe right now, everybody. I'm sniffing it so much. Okay, guys, oh, that's, that's much better for us, though. To be fair, that's much better. Much, much better. Okay, Yorvo is coming in there. That seems a little bit risky. A little bit risky, I would say. A little bit. Uh, we could also turn everyone into Lotus Cobra attack and win. 
No, because we don't have enough mass, so we can't do that. Uh, so that's uh, boring, but okay, sure. We'll do this, we'll do a crab in another session, eh? A session of environmental studies. Get more life. And we'll get another blue, I think. A blue. And get some more skewedly swarmery. And then finally we start getting the copies of skewedly swarmery. Oh, but he has a removal spell for two? Okay. Oh, it taps them. Ah, okay. Uh, we're gonna get... Uh, uh, skewedly swarm. And uh, no attacks. Does he now have a board wipe? And left, leave us with an augmented penny list, no? Or the main tactician, okay. I think it's just enough with the Lotus Cobra though. Make everything into a Lotus Cobra and smack in. I think that's all we need. I think that's all we need. Like, right? We have five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a lot of damage, honestly. That's a lot of freaking damage. Hopefully it doesn't have. <laughs> You're killing Lotus Cobra. Though. It's definitely trouble, but I don't think so. We're gonna get a lot of mana if, if we happen to have a land there. No! Really? You have a... I it probably have something which taps down, I think. Yeah, yeah, taps down. But everything is a tutor now. We can block two, and then it takes more than eight. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> imagine us having a land there. Just imagine us having a land. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Got him! I mean, we can't say that we have. <laughs> no, we don't. Yeah, we kind of have the combo. We have a pilot. We have, we have everything. We have everything we need. That's all I can say. Pick up a green. Lotus card. Like, these cards are really fun to play with, to be fair. To be fair, I should play more with them. I, I usually play just. I stick to my birth and my letters. But sometimes when I venture outside a little bit. <laughs> it's his decks, which unfortunately have absolutely no defense and no way of coming back if I'm on board wipes. But, but, when they go off, my god, it's glorious with this deck. These types of decks. Solo monster. Don't have a burn spell. Giant? Is that what they have? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> That's the important part of these decks. I was, uh, they easily crumble and fall apart. Very, very easily. We go for blue or we go for red? I think go for blue, because it's long before we can play this. I think that's a good idea. Maybe. We'll see. Long Rush Giant. Coming down. On the ground. Yeah. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Reasonable. Okay. I think I'm gonna unleash some Garooks. Garuk Gashmooks. Oh, I think. Uh, okay. Hello, my name is Garuk. And I like to create three trees. Let's see. What cards, by the way? For you. He's only played the Bone Crush Giant. Why? I thought he has played one more bird, but he doesn't. He, ha he hasn't. <laughs> English? He hasn't played it anymore. He's played the Bone Crusher and he's played the Selfless Savior. One, two, and three. Though. Yes. Is that a good curve? I think the selfless saver is pretty good actually. Text against board wipes. One manas. One one body isn't the best though. But I mean if it was a two one body, it would probably be I don't think it would be unbalanced, that's a two one. It wasn't even a I think there was a card that was a two one which had this ability. I think so. I think so. Venerable War thing, okay? When it deals Combat damage to a player, you may return target creature card with command amongst X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield, where X is the number of damage. Oh! Okay, that's a lot of things there. I'm gonna block with that thing. And self a savior jumps in to save his friend, okay? That's not a problem, I think. Not a problem, Not a problem, Um, I'm gonna do this. Another Duders, the Fairy, the Master Schnooners. Draw this card. Oh! <laughs> I 
Oh, I think we ship Filath, but I really don't like it. No, we can't ship Filath. We ship Warring Clacks, but then we can't combo. We need to cultivate to find the correct manas. No, you know what? I think we're gonna go so go through so many cards. We're gonna find a land cards anyway. A land card anyway. So, <laughs> with the, the, the fairy. I'm just banking on it. We have such good cards. Okay, sure. He dies. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Long rush giant, sure. And he smacks in. These troops, probably. Or the fairy, then we can just plus, I guess. Only bone crusher. That's okay. Sacrifice this guy. Uh, we'll do a little bit of draw discarding here. Checking out the perimeters. I don't think I want a tap land. That's that's not that nice. Uh hmm. Okay, maybe I should. <laughs> yeah, I should I get Oh no, no, I shouldn't! I know I shouldn't, because I'm a genius. I'm such a genius, and I always play the correct way, and I never make any mistakes. <laughs> Not at all! Okay, mounted. Fill up. And, yeah. Now we have some block Lurinos. Gotta say, does this guy have trample? He does. He has combat damage a player. Return a creature card. Return one because X or less from your graveyard, where X is the amount of damage. Okay, so that could return Bone Crush Giant. He has the things to do it with. Okay. Five manas though. Does he have a board wipe? No. I'll say the life spawned him. That's kind of a cool card though. Like a reanimator spell. I've never seen this card. New card from Strixhaven. That's probably why, but. Like in these colors, you usually don't see reanimator effects. You shall A. And. Come crashing in. To fill up? I don't think so. Doesn't seem like something we'll do. Uh, we'll draw this card then. See what we can find. That's this kind of the card we want here, anyways, though. Love a good puzzle. I do love a good puzzle, but the forest we can definitely ship. I mean, we have to go for the combo next turn, right? Right? That's what we have to do. Okay, put you down. Draw this card. Fine, don't think we need any Walling Wilds. Ship that. We're up to nine. I think we just no, we just we just hold, right? We just hold. We just hold and hope that it can't kill the Klexus and the fill up. And then the pugilist. <laughs> or the pugilist. What's the what's the card in Echoing Equation? The echoing equation. And the seal the dealer, I think, okay? Fireblade Charger! Sure. Sure, that's not a problem, oh, I think. Okay, I'll draw this card. Up to 11, so we are getting the turns, which we don't really need, to be fair. Okay, well, 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 well. <laughs> He's probably gonna scoop it before we get off the, the ferry, but I'm gonna try to be fast with the ferry. Maybe if it doesn't scoop. Oh, no, what is happening here? Only 267 counters. That's not too many. I thought that would be more. Okay. Little bit disappointed. <laughs> we'll say I'm a little... He's just checking it out. Do you have 206? Yeah, I have 267 loyalty. <laughs> it's not even that much. It's not even that much, solo monster. You haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> yeah, these guys are trapped. <laughs> <laughs> Friendly neighbor Chris, where will he arrive from this time? Left, right, or center? <laughs> that wasn't that was from below. I know I was cheating there. Thank you all so much for watching. And a special thank you of course to all the latest members who have joined while I've been away. Where have you been? I've a big nuts. <laughs> <laughs> a baked cookies containing nuts. That's more accurate. So, <laughs> that's one of the things I've been doing. So, thank you so much to all our members. Thank you so much to Mario, Mario, and Ricky Amorin Coloma, the Rookie Twenty One Gaming, Daily Van, <laughs> Steve Earth, Rory Walsh, Mike Anthony, Biao. 
Oh. Biao. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for joining. Also, thank you. Georgi Mira Mirastiev. Mirastiev. Yes, comrade. <laughs> so, thank you for joining. Also, thank you, Brinko, Kian Barbieri, and welcome back to Matthias Porley and Jesse W. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Hello, Daniel. And you are? It's -a me, the YouTube algorithm. And. Well, what are you doing here? I'm just here to take those the views! No, the, those are my views! Oh, I can explain to you, senor. You see, you have subs, 0%, uh, and non-subs, 100%. Uh, That's why you can take all your views. <laughs> I guess it's time that you uh, check out a little, little thing down there.